Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Red Dirt Rods. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Today we're gonna do a quick project. We're gonna show you how to make a gasket using bulk gasket materials. We're gonna show you a couple of different types and we're gonna make one for this GM carburetor uh, adapter for a, super, for a turbo. And we're gonna show you how to make a high heat gasket for a header collector. And we're gonna show you how to do it. For your project. Okay, so first things first, you've got standard paper gasket material. This is available at pretty much any part store. This particular one is a, uh, I think this is a Felpro gasket. This is good for most things on your car. This will work for carburetors, uh, water pumps, anything like that that you need just a basic gasket for. When you need high heat, that's where this stuff comes in. Now this stuff isn't super cheap, but it works really, really well. This is Felpro Felramic high heat water resistant gasket material. This is non-asbestos, so you don't have to worry about anything. But what this does is it's got a, it's a ceramic coated paper with a steel liner. So there's a perforated steel liner in here. So it's flexible, but it bends. So cutting this is a little more difficult, but this works really well for header gaskets, collector gaskets. I make my own collectors for exhaust manifolds and things like that. I can weld this onto the pipe. I can weld this onto headers. I use these a lot. I cut them on my CNC plasma and I need gaskets for them. This works really good for that. So let's talk about tools. Basic, good quality scissors. You need something that's gonna cut well, especially if you're cutting the high heat stuff. You're gonna need a little soft hammer like this. This is the important one because this is what makes a good gasket versus a bad gasket, and that's hole punches. You don't want to try to use a screwdriver or a razor blade. They just, they're not very clean. You want a nice clean cut, use a hole punch. A Sharpie and a pencil. The pencil is best for getting to those inside holes, whereas the Sharpie can only give you a center point, and sometimes it won't fit at all. You also want a wood block, that's to back up for the hole punch. All right, so we're gonna start out, roll the paper out, and just find a section, okay, just like that. Take the Sharpie, mark around it. You wanna be careful not to move the part while you're marking it. Mark your holes, this will at least get a center hole. Now the three holes that are on the bottom of this you can't get to at all i don't even know if i can get them with my pencil i can't so let's get creative so for my compass when i'm laying out parts for fabricating it is a lead pencil and it has these little short leads these will work great for this if you have a really tough time and you can't get to your holes you could use something like a little bit of spray paint or something like that to dust it. Obviously it's gonna get on your part, but that's just an option if you're desperate. So then we take this off and there we can see our gasket. Scissors, I'm just gonna rough cut. And then we can do the fine cut. So your Sharpie mark, the inside edge is the edge of your part. So that's what you wanna cut to. Okay, now we've got our basic shape. Bring our wood block up and then going to use the part to find the right size hole punch. I think that first one, this the biggest one I've got is about right. So all I wanna do is center that right over the mark Take our mallet, and there you go. 
And then just keep going all the way around. So there we go. Now we have the outside of our gasket. So what do we do? We need the inside. Yes, this does have a gasket on it. This was just an example. So what do we do? Well, I'm gonna show you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our gasket. Okay, I'm gonna get it lined up. I'm just gonna take a couple of uh, quarter 20 bolts, whatever size you, your bolts work, whatever size bolt you need will work. And this is just to make it easier. I'm gonna snug this up. And I'm just gonna take the back of a screwdriver. I'm gonna hold this down and I'm just gonna rub this around that hole. I wanna be on the edge of the hole. That will transfer the shape of the hole to the gasket. Remove the bolts. Kinda of difficult, but you can see it. You can definitely see it on this side. Now, for this particular piece, you do need to use a razor blade. You're, I don't have a hole punch this size, most people don't. If you use scissors on this, it's the, the, the edges are gonna be a lot more jagged. Matter of fact, I'll show you what it looks like. These scissors are way too big to cut this out. You can use a razor blade or you can use these detail scissors. These are actually mustache scissors. Um, I'm going to use the razor blade because I like that better. And we can just follow along. If your hole isn't perfect, you can always clean it up once you put it up to the part. So you can do it that way. Or if the shape of your part allows, you can just bolt the gasket on, take your razor blade. You can actually start in the center, find the edge, and then simply cut it out. And then you have a perfect hole. So that's one way to make a paper gasket. Now let's show you how to make a high temp gasket. Now we're gonna make an exhaust collector gasket for this collector piece that I have made. So we're just gonna put this in here. We're gonna line up the flat edge, mark it with a Sharpie, mark our inside holes, and then mark our center. Now this has that steel core, so this is a little hard on your scissors, but it does cut pretty easy. So I'm gonna cut the straight sections now these holes are pretty big, so we're gonna do a double, punch it on the, at two places. That gets our hole, we can always clean that up. Then, just gonna take the punch and put it on the edge of our center opening. And if I wanted to, I could just continue all the way around like this. You can use your hole punch or you can use sheet metal shears. And you're just gonna cut a little at a time. The hole punch method works pretty good. Using shears will bend up the uh, gasket a little bit, but it'll straighten back out and still be just fine. And there we go. We've got a nice gasket for our exhaust flange that won't burn through. The Felpro ProRamic gasket material works really well in high heat applications. I've had a set of these that I in a car that I did about eight years ago, still running, no leaks, beats most of the paper gaskets that you put on header collectors. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Let's make magic.